Hello crafters! This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I am here with a card share plus a better press special. Yay! Two thumbs up for that special. Let's just go right into this video. Let's get started. Okay crafters, first up, the better press special is a free better press plate at scrapbook.com and isn't it pretty? I'm showing you the graphic here. This better press plate is called Country Roses. Isn't it pretty? Oh yes, I already got mine yesterday. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, is that a freebie? So it's a freebie with a $20 purchase at scrapbook.com. You must add it to cart to get it. If your order is under 20, then that better press plate will ring up as, I think 14.98 or something. Plus, there is a coordinating die. Now the coordinating die you have to purchase. That one is $8.98. I will provide links below for both Country Roses press plate so you can add it to cart and the coordinating die so you can add that to cart. Also, I will provide a link for their entire Better Press collection because nearly everything at Spellbinders is available at scrapbook.com and they're in stock right now. The only thing that's not there would be the Kit Club at Spellbinders, okay? Isn't that a nice freebie? Plus, there is another freebie as well that you still have to add to your cart. That one is their scrapbook.com butterflies with the coordinating die. Yes, I got that as well. <laughs> and there is a special stamp set. I will provide a link for that. That one is normally $15 and they're now selling it for $6.99. So that's a great deal too. Now let's quickly talk about what can you add to your cart to get to $20. Personally, I did supplies. So let's talk about one of my favorite supplies, which is in stock. And a lot of the scrapbook.com exclusives are currently on sale. One of my favorite supplies to get at scrapbook.com has to be scrapbook.com storage envelopes. I love these right here. You can see that I use them to store dies. I use them to store stamp and die sets. My favorite sizes, and you guys have seen this from me all the time because I show these videos and I pull them out of their coordinating envelopes. This storage envelope, I'll put the size here. I know it's a medium storage envelope. It's around six by, or six and a half by eight and three quarter. This one is a large storage envelope, seven by 10. This one is an extra large, eight and a half by 11. I have a few of these. Most of what I use will be this size, the medium. I love these to house sets. This is housing all of Postage Edge collection, which is, I believe, five die sets with their packaging, magnet, and the dies easily. So you can add these two and you should be close to the 20. You can get it five in a pack. You can also get it 10 in a pack of both sizes, okay? So I'll put a general link for the storage envelopes because it depends on what you want it for. These are the ones that I always get and they sell out a lot. They're in stock now. Both of these can hold roughly seven to eight sets. Don't go 10. Once you hit 10, like I did with all my standalone sealed by Spellbinders dies, it did crack. I brought it back down to eight, but I was going there. I needed to test how many it can hold. This one right now is holding. Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets. So eight is pretty good. If you want something new, I'll put a link for some of the new spell binders that's available in scrapbook.com. Also, they updated their clearance section, so I'll put a link for that. But don't forget to get that beautiful Country Roses press plate. Have to add it to cart. Plus, if you want the coordinating die for $8.98, I suggest that you get it now because that will sell out. This free press plate is for a limited time only. So head on over to scrapbook.com. Okay, crafters, now let's get into my card share is featuring the Make It Merry card making Christmas kit. This is also sold both Spellbinders and scrapbook.com, specially priced at both places, okay? Love this set. This is a full card making kit. You can make, oh gosh, I don't even know how many cards. It just depends on how you use your die cuts, but probably... 100 cards with this one. Seriously, there are like sentiment die cuts, images die cuts, all kinds of goodies. I will link the unboxing video here. I showed you this a while back. If you want just a paper pack or an additional paper pack, the pattern paper is also sold at scrapbook.com. The Make It Merry 6x6 paper pad. So super pretty. Look at that. I love the take of modern 
with it. And there is a die set too. But we'll talk about the die set because I did use it in my example. So I have all my bits in a little box. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, okay? $2.99. It's a cute little box, isn't it? Stores all my goodies. So I separated out all the die cuts here. This is a printed die cuts with the images. This is the one with the text. This is an add-on. This one is the floral die cut set. I will put a link for this. You have to purchase this separately outside of the kit, okay? But isn't that nice? So I have all three of them in Ziploc bags ready to go. All right, let's talk about my card examples. Okay, crafters, I made six cards and they all look different. <laughs> I was playing with pattern paper and then I got into just working with die cuts and then the die cut image and just having a ball. So in my first card example, this is just all die cuts and a paper pack. There are no dies actually used in this. This is from the pattern paper with that little notched corner. And then here are two holly die cut pieces and a pattern paper. The stars, this also comes in the kit. Quick beautiful card done love it may the joy of the christmas season fill your heart all year long quick and simple card isn't this colorway fabulous i love the cream with the gold and then these touches of red and green this is a very pretty collection with this kit so that's card number one card number two completely different look at santa santa die cut so you can make it more traditional you can make it more fun, depending on who you're giving the card to or what mood you're in, how you want to spread your Christmas joy, right? So this one, I have Santa, pattern paper, pattern paper, die cut. There's even stickers. Now let's talk about right here in a scrapbook.com storage envelope. <laughs> this is assorted tags. Oh gosh, you guys have been seeing this from me lately. If you're new to my channel, just watch like the last three videos. You're going to see lots of this. <laughs> So here is assorted tags, and then I use that little small one. Isn't this a great set? I love this set so much. I really have been enjoying it since Christmas in July. I've just been playing with it over and over again. And the more I play with it is the more I'm like, wow, this is a great little tag die set. <laughs> so I put a sticker, puffy sticker on it. You get chipboard pieces and you get stickers within this Make It Merry collection. There is a sticker, there's a sticker pattern paper. This is that Vivant. Vivant is a set of high quality ribbons. I will put a link for that. Everything I'm talking about, I'm going to provide a link for. Even the freebie, okay? So how's my cute little Santa? This is with Postage Edge Collection. Scrapbook.com storage envelope. <laughs> Back in stock at both places. Spellbinders and Scrapbook.com. Postage edge rectangles. You just don't know how happy I am that this is back in stock because I use this all the time. You know, when you see something, you're like, oh, that's cute. I want to get it. It had disappeared for a while. I'm so glad that it's back. So this is, what did I say? Rectangles? This is not rectangles. Whoops. <laughs> it's postage edge squares. So postage edge squares here in like a picture frame with Santa. Five and a quarter inch square card, okay? Top folding square card super cute and with these die cuts you can use them on the outside or the inside of the card isn't this fun look at the cute little santa i love that so i made a picture frame with santa saying ho 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 yay up next we're going to talk about this card but i just want to hop in here with a quick sidebar so in my last video which featured simon hurley's christmas collection with the silly santas a lot of you loved how i did this tag in particular you could picture this set used in here so we're back to assorted tags which is here and here to coordinate with assorted tags there is the handmade gift tag stamp set this would be perfect in this whole make it merry collection if you do have this this is fabulous to integrate into this collection you could see this right here with that stamp and heat emboss look at that heat emboss so well and the silly santa from simon hurley also works well with the Make It Merry too, if you think about it, right? This tag, one of my other favorites, so I love the assorted tags, but I also love Create a Decorative Tag. Here, I'm using the Create a Decorative Tag just as a foundation on this card to help build up the scene. Here, I'm actually using it as a tag with the decorative elements attached in it. 
Don't you just love that? Oh, I love how you could play. See, I could do like that too. Do Santa differently. Add this in here and still keep that background. Isn't that wonderful? So you can have loads of fun with these tag sets. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to show you that. The Santa reminds me of that Santa. Silly Santa. Create a decorative tag, pattern paper, pattern paper. In the back, to house my card, I have Fluted Classics Rectangles. Again, scrapbook.com storage envelope. This is a whole set as well. All five shapes. Rectangle, oval, square, circle, slimline. So I love to use Fluted Classics for this type of styling where you get that texture on the frame. Helps you to finish the card instead of just having the pattern paper call all the way out. You could also do it like how I did it before where you just do matting. Both ways, still nice. And here is one of the die cuts with the sentiment. That's one of the chipboard. This is one of the printed image. There is a gold gem. Down here, this is the coordinating die set for this collection. It's called the Make It Merry Floral Dies. Love this die set. Not a bad price point either. You're actually seeing two different die sets. There is the Make It Merry Florals, which you can just have loads of fun. Here I'm only using just a poinsettia and the holly. The centers, I'm going with this and this, but you also get this fabulous little berry set right here. Leaves, that floral, love it. Oh, let me show you it done better. In my Glimmer for the Holidays video, this is it with more pieces done. The poinsettia looks the same, but the arrangement looks different. Isn't that nice? Love, love. Love it. And then at the bottom here, I have Make It Merry Sentiments die. You get this banner and then you can put Make It Merry, Jingle All The Way, Tis The Season. Those are the drop-ins. So this and this, two sets. And this is a cute little top folding card. So this has like a tag piece. But if you don't have the tag, yes, I could have put the bells and still work it. I could have also done the florals here and up here too on both ends. So pretty. All right, next love this card <laughs> this is a five by seven i love this cute little deer it's so adorable with the christmas hat because i love this die cut and you get two of the die cuts in the kit with both the images and the sentiments you get two sets of each so i still have another one of this when you make these cards you can make two of each you can have the same foundation and then just change up the florals. This is the floral die cut, that add-on set. I could make two of this same exact card. That's nice. Here is one of the sentiments from the sentiment pack. Make it merry. The florals, my little dear. And to compose the whole collage here, I'm using scrapbook.com storage envelope. That's what I was talking about. Because you're seeing it housing about five different sets in this video already, right? This one is holding foundation dies. I have five of them in here. Essential hexi gems is what you're seeing here. I also have essential diamonds, arches, everlasting squares, and circles. So I like to keep my stuff organized like this because when I keep it like this, I can easily pull out a set and go, oh, I have everything together instead of forgetting that I have something because it's separated these are all together and I have like two sets of this whole type of background shapes. But there is Essential Hexi Gems. I love this set so much. You've been seeing this one from me lately too a lot. I did two sets of it in the background, which I so love this 3D embossing folder. One of my favorites, Dimensional Diamonds. Anytime you want to elevate a card, that hair of elegance, this is the embossing folder you want to reach for. Time and time again, even though it's with just die cuts, this card is still looking elegant, doesn't it? <laughs> I tell you, I've always said this from the first time I used this embossing folder. I was like, wow, why does the card look different? There's something special about her. I would not give up on this embossing folder because she's just great to have in your stash. If you want to just give your card that bump or it's just looking not right, pull out this embossing folder. 3D embossing folder, she'll use the universal plate system. Look at her. And you can use her both sides, meaning embossed, or you can flip it the other way, use the deboss side as well, depending on how you want your card to look. I'm loving it like this. As a matter of fact, I love how the Hexi Gems is working with this. Another great one would be Essential Diamonds. See how the Essential Diamonds has a shape here? If you want to keep it that kind of a monochromatic geometric look, this would be great. This would also be great for your masculine cards too. 
with one of these sets too as well and then finish it off with some green gems this is popped off of this this is popped off of that and the dare is popped off here so yes it does have a little bit of height but i think the height adds to the fun and then i love the flowers and normally this would be die cuts but i'm not mad that it's a printed die cut so pretty right loving 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 up next i have my what do i call this a paper piece card <laughs> <laughs> meaning it's like a collage this is a strip of the pattern paper from the six by six paper pack printed image one of the florals the sentiment so this is like all the die cuts in this collection there is a chipboard heart finished with a wax seal this is the wax seal of the month for this month the kit club just closed okay to get this wax seal which is called mandala flower you'll have to wait till maybe next month or the month after in the past kit club i can't put a link for it because it's not there yet all right but it is mandala flower i love this because it looks like a flower but at the same time it looks like a snowflake so here i'm using it like a snowflake okay so we have this little scene we have the sentiment it's christmas with the floral i had fun making this card this reminds me of like almost scrapbooking just fabulous i love it plain pattern paper in the back and then here i have some craft cardstock just housing it okay so pretty love this and this is with the gold wax bead you could add wax beads if you need some wax beads a lot of the new colors too have restocked at scrapbook.com to bring you up to that 20 for that better press i tell you once i saw that better press plate being free for 20 oh you know i went shopping immediately and it was all supplies <laughs> i was about 30 dollars by the time i added up everything but i needed stuff anyway i always need something right and lastly, this one is the Shaky Shake. There, you're seeing the foam. That is scrapbook.com quarter inch foam. I will put a link for that as well because that's a great foam for your shakers. It's an exclusive. Hopefully it's in stock and you can get it on sale if it's in stock. So I will put a link for their quarter inch foam roll. I also use their one eighth of an inch foam tape strips. So I'll put that there if you want to make a bunch of shakers for the holidays. All kinds of goodies in here. Now, there is some sequins without the centers in it, the punched centers. This is in the Make It Merry kit, okay? I don't know why I didn't use it. I could have used it in here. And then I also put some peppermint. Here I have a car die cut image, the little deer up here, one of the florals, this Merry from last month's classic christmas collection this is the classic merry christmas die so i just use merry alone you don't always have to go with both things you could just use christmas alone or merry alone i have to tell myself that too sometimes because sometimes i'll see a set and think it must always be these two no they can go independent i know <laughs> But that's how sometimes we see a die set and it's like, you just have to always go with how the die set is presented. So I love when I see inspiration of dies being broken down, meaning really being used creatively. And lately I've been seeing some videos of folks doing stuff with dies that I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Which is all inspiration, ideas and inspiration. So just marry alone. And then here I have postage edge, not rectangles. I wanted to say rectangles. You just don't know how happy that I am that this is back in stock for you guys. Because I know if you see it, you're like, oh goodness, I want that and I don't see it. It wasn't even listed anymore. So I'm so glad it's back. But this is postage edge circles. And I love to use that postage edge. Depending on how you use this, it can look like a big cog. It can also look like a porthole. I've used it as a porthole too for nautical cards. It's just fabulous. So here, think of it like with the car, wheel, or rim. It looks like that. At least that's my thinking. Here's some acetate. There's a pattern paper in the background. So super cute. And then all the shaky, shaky bits. And then pattern paper. I love the pattern paper. So this is a lot of play on pattern paper. Alrighty, crafters. That is it. I have six cards here done with the fabulous Make It Merry Christmas kit set. You can just play, play, and play some more with this set. This one is a great one to take to a crop. If you're cropping with a friend or if you're cropping with the kids, 
you guys can definitely make a lot of cards there's a lot of images in here too that if you are going to craft with your kids they can make cards because there's a lot of fun images for them to play with and then you can still go traditional cards as well that's why i love this make it merry and i love the colorway there is traditional going into modern just loads of fun and elegant too look at this and this just so beautiful and don't forget again that better press special at scrapbook.com two thumbs up it's for a limited time if you're interested in the better press you have it and you're like ooh. and definitely if you want the die get it because that will take a while to come back to once it's sold out all righty crafters everything detail listed below the special all the goodies scrapbook.com storage envelope and everything here too thumbs up love this kit make it merry specially priced as well yay Alrighty, crafters until the next video stay crafty my friends bye